much the bloody interview. Why? Good day there, Lash. Okay then. So, Sean, you're a Hollywood legend, not to mention a sex icon. At least I thought you were before this interview. But nonetheless, I've seen most of your interviews and all your films, and you seem very modest. How do you stay so humble? Why, yes, I'm curiously sexy. But still, I remain humble ever since I had sex with my school mom, 74 years prior. But, Mr. Connery, you're 80. You had sex at the age of six? Of course. It was the 1930s. World War II was going on. We both needed the distraction. Uh, okay then. I mean, soldiers wrecked in pillage to the Maoris. Everyone knows formal apologies rectify every little thing. <laughs> um, yeah. What film did you have the most fun on, Sean? Well, well, that's quite easy, Lash. It has to be finding Forrester. How many people utter the quote, You're the man now, Doc? Well, not many. It's In fact, there's a whole website called yourthemannowdog.com. Well, I would have thought that Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade was on the top of your list. Well, not me, sugar baby. I want to end my movie career on a high. Although, I did sign up for the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Which, of course, shocked. But I rocked in it. But who cares when the film is worth Sarah Palin's droppings? Well, Sean, this interview's ironically awkward with only two questions in. Um... Will you ever return to movies? Ah, just the way my new surgery makes me feel black. I won't be returning to film anytime soon. Actually, I, uh, I plan to become an organic vegetable farmer. Organic farming? I heard you correct. Why, yes. Sean, isn't that a cry a bit too far from acting? But I've taken a necessary precaution. I will disguise myself as a black female and come with crazy egos to detract from I, Sean Connery. Well, Sean, you've really thrown me for a loop here. Um, I thought. I knew you from your interviews and your movies. I mean, I'm, I'm confused right now. I mean, right now you're a black female. That's just, it's kind of throwing me off. It's really kind of throwing me off. And I'll say this, um, uh, in the last couple of minutes, I've made discriminating remarks to the Maoris and then defended them. How does that work? Really? How does that work? Because you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, Slipping and merging right now. I'm probably not that good of a journalist either, right? You think that? I don't. I don't know. Sean, I'm slipping and merging right now. I don't know if I'm even here. Am I here? This is one way to find out. And there. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all go through changes. Well, see I. 
still have my sexy voice and infamous wife did. But now, I'm a black female. You've got a promising career in this field, Lashy Pants. But people don't appear as they seem from far off glance. Didn't you see Batman Begins? It's our actions that define us. You gotta take life as it comes, baby dumpling. Because it'll kick you in the nuts or the lady patch. I hope to have my own lady patch very soon. My treatments aren't done yet. Well. Why is it weird, Sean? I'm, I'm going to have a talk with my lady pitch after this, this interview. I guess my last question is, do you have any final words to those viewing this very vulnerable interview? Why yes. I do. The name is Frosh. Can't she? Frosh. Oh, ah, 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 ah. 